Hey, so today um, I'm going to be doing a video with MRDOG. Hello. And he's going to be showing us how to um, regen bus. So in this video, we're going to go over uh, regen removing and double tap. And in the next video, we're going to go over Orsib, right? Yep. So. Go through those two today and then OSRBs in the next one because that'll take up a lot more time because it's a much more tricky concept to actually explain. <laughs> Yeah. So, so which which one do you want to do first? So let's do um uh region removing first. Um, but really quickly, region removing, okay. Um all of MRD's information will be in the description if you want to go check them out. Um this cannon that we're gonna mm -hmm. be using is his he released on his channel. Um so yeah. Right, yeah. So with regen removing, basically what we're trying to do is remove all of the lava up until either the barrel height or above, or wherever you're trying to stack to. So that's it's very easy to do, because all you need is a double tap and a late scatter. So you're stacking in front of the region up to your guider height. So... Say so you're all the way up to there, like that. And then your late scatter blows up the front of this regen, and then you immediately stack inside it, removing the lava. And then you'll have another light scatter to remove that, and it will look like that, and then you can go straight through, and you've so, removed that regen. Yeah, and so this lava right here will still be flowing. You'll still have lava flowing. Yeah, that'll, that'll still flow here. down, but it won't gen anything back. Yeah, because there won't be source lava, so you'll be able to shoot right through the yeah. lava. And get we, can, we can demonstrate that now on actual regen over here yep so i just fire quickly i'm gonna go ahead and give this a side angle kind of late scatter and then it stacks inside and then oh <laughs> <laughs> well, late scatter flew up that's amazing oh yeah there was already sand in the bottom but yes yeah, so when this is removed it flows down, but it doesn't regen back. And so, if you're trying to build this, um, we'll, we might have a separate video on like how to actually build it. But uh, it's it's a pretty easy concept. What you have is, um, like he said, you just have you stack your sand up, and then you have a very late scatter. Yeah. And so you, you'll have you'll have your scatter resting in here for a while before you shoot again, which will. Um, the, the shot will come in, and as it's coming in, you'll scatter, and you'll stack again back here. And the reason you're doing that is you're yeah. scatter the reason you're scattering late is because um, you you don't want your your wall to regen in the time that you're uh, trying to get your second shot in. So exactly. Uh, the only slight complication is that you have to guide a stack, which requires like a single piece of TNT going off to basically boost the sand and the hammer up by about half a block to one block around that margin. So that's like one. So then you can stack to the guide height. Yeah, basically, it's exactly that. So um, if you're confused about that, I'm gonna have a video on one rev uh, really soon. Yeah. Right. I'll set it up for the other one if I can. Stay still. So, um, next we're going to be going into, um, uh, what's it called again? This is going to be just double tapping to back stack bust. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, if you just repair that quickly. Yep. Basically, what double tapping to backstack busting is is basically if you are shooting through a buffer and your barrel is aligned to somewhere where you can't push water in for example like the front of a mine chat like that where there's lava on the front um, you have to rely on water that's um, behind it like this and push it in from behind so again this is basically just using our guider stacking and double tapping and late TNT, except instead of the late TNT going off on both shots of the double tap, it goes off on the first shot and not on the second. So the effect you're left with is it will stack here up to your guider height. It will scatter, then immediately stack behind up to guider height. This will regen back and this won't blow up. And then you repeat this step 
until you get to here, um, in which case you will have the late scatter going off on both shots. So when you stack again, it will blow up here, immediately stack, and then it'll push water into here, turning this into obsidian. And like then you that. just go through that like normal. Yeah, yeah, and the, the late scatter that will come in on the second shot will blow all of that up. Oh, perfect. And probably remove a couple pieces of obsidian, depending on how much TNT you actually have. Yeah. Now, try and set it up over here. Just give ourselves a little backboard here. So this will be like the next wall in the buffer. We gotta, yeah, move the... Just adjust the cannon quickly. Oh. I believe this will now work. Did you adjust So the... if I shoot once... Yeah. Okay. So if I shoot once, we should see that it will stack in this side here. It will late scatter, back stack, and there won't be any late scatter there. I'll turn the slab bust off so that the late scatter doesn't get shot up in the air like last time. Because if the slab busts on and there's less, or well, there's less than an eight block gap between the sand below and like entities that are being shot in, um, it will boost it up because the slab bust is close enough to actually affect it. Okay, so this is going to be the last shot before we have the the, the late scatter coming in on both shots. We'll stack, late scatter, stack again. Yeah, so he's enabling the scatter on both shots now. Yep. So that what happens is it will stack, blow it up, immediately stack again, and that will push the water in from behind. Like so. Yeah. More of you <laughs> Like perfect. that. Exactly like that. It's as simple as that. Um, so These are the two easiest methods. Yeah, and, and just, you know, um, like I showed for the other one, if you're trying to make this one, um, it's pretty much the same exact thing, except you don't aim it for the for the center and you have um you have one coming in and sc and scattering late like like usual but then your second one comes in and does not scatter so exactly it's, it's the exact same thing as the old way where you have your two shots except the other one doesn't scatter until your last wall yeah so, um, so that it removes the back stack, so that like you don't need to spend any more TNT on it. It's just a much simpler way of doing things. So yeah, and um, as you can tell, um, I don't have too much experience with region busting, and MIT <laughs> is going to be starting tutorials soon. I heard. Yeah, so, I um, might be. If you want to be, if you want to learn how to region bust, um, uh, this is a, a more basic tutorial, but that's definitely very nice. And we're going to have a more like in-depth tutorial for Orsib because that's what um, that's like a, a more common thing now. Yeah, it's it's a much more complicated concept as well because either I could spend like two minutes going over it briefly, or I could spend half an hour going into a lot of detail. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing the half an hour version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yep. All right. So, uh, is there anything else you want to explain? Or you think this is um, I think um, actually there is one more thing that I could mention, which is filter bypassing, um, which is a a method that not many people really know about. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot lots of people know about it, but like you wouldn't have like thought to use it probably. So basically, if you've got regen filters like this, it's um, and like you're shooting through here and like. It's your power, or no, not your power, sorry, your hammer and sand have dipped slightly so that they're basically going to clip here. And if you're shooting, it will stack up to here yeah. or wherever. You can use the filter bypass TNT to essentially tunnel through it and then stack on the next wall. Oh, I see. That's located here on this cannon specifically, where there are six game ticks for each game tick of travel. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's kind of like I've only got four AP. TNT on here. So it's it's like basically like an AP, except it's like, yeah. So, except with this, in this case, you add one piece of TNT for how many filters you have to go through. Oh, okay. Or how many dry spots you have to tunnel. Alright. 
I think that's pretty much all that is needed to be explained in this video. All right, so um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. If you need um, an in, like anything more or anything explained more in depth, just uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll have MRD look at it. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so yeah, look out for the next video, and see ya.